Good evening, YouTubers. Uh, this is Eric. Uh, I just got done installing the plywood. Tomorrow I'm passing inspection. This is gonna be a tile house, like the ones around here. It's gonna be a flat tile. Uh, it's not gonna be a nest tile. It's gonna be a flat tile. But I, I just went over uh, the space sheeting with the new plywood sheeting OSB. Uh, I installed it. Uh, I'm ready for inspection. I'm gonna take another video when I'm installing the paper. Somebody uh, requests me to show them how to install a two ply, uh, two ply of uh, underlayment on a tile house, on a tile roof. Tomorrow I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hopefully you can learn something. And uh, this is how I'm done. Do you see a little space in between the plywood? That's because I'm trying to leave a one eighth of an inch for the, uh, the plywood expansion. You see it? It's right there. If if I don't do it, I'm not gonna pass inspection. Always when you install plywood, just leave it like in a space, you know, like a one eighth of an inch. The thickness of the uh, of the uh, nail. And that's my trash down there. And this is my ladder. It's a two story house. De hola para la cámara, Lauro. Pa que te conozcan. Lauro, it's down there. He's saying hi to the YouTubers. Later, guys. Hi. Hopefully, you like it. Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, this is Eric. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to uh, install the the felt underlayment when you're going to install tile. Usually, you know, by code, you're only supposed to use like one layer of 30 pounds. <clears throat> but uh, uh, either you can go with one layer, that's the minimum requirement, or you can install two layers of 30 pound or 40 pound felt, or one layer of 30 pound or one layer of 40 pounds. It all it all depends what's the deal you made with the company or the owner or the contractor. But this is how you do it. Okay, you you're gonna have to cut one of the rolls in half like that. I cut like one of the rolls in half, and then I throw the half first, and then I overlap. A full roll over the half and then I use the the second you see like in like in the middle the roll has a uh, two 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 lines that are together well you're gonna get the second line from the bottom to overlap with the second roll and then and so on so in this one the same this one is the same the same the same the same and then when you finish right here you're gonna finish with half or either I can wait until I finish the other side and I can just overlap a full roll to overlap on both sides half on there and half on this side and also when you install the tile you're supposed to uh, install the the base uh, the the primary uh, uh, <coughs> flashing underlayment I mean with the underlayment so in case if you have a broken tile you know the water is just gonna run on top of the on top of the felt and it's gonna run down there so the tile you know because usually when you have tile most of the time you have a lot of broken tiles and, uh, and that's a problem that's why you it's recommended to use two layers I said no two layers of uh, felt you see like over there on the on the valley I'm gonna throw a a header a 30 pound felt along the valley and then I'm gonna go with this all to cross on the other side and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go on this side until I cover it. Anyway, I'll take another video later on. Right now, I'm just trying to finish this house, but I wanted to take a video before I I, con I continue. And this is how you install two layers, okay, guys? Hopefully you like it. Some guys, they do one roll by one. I, well, I usually do, I do like as many rolls as I can when I have an open field, and then I do it faster. See, and then when you nail the the felt, you, lay in a, you nail it on zigzag. One, six, sack, six, sack, six, sack, six, sack, six, sack. That's what I, I was. I was taught when I when I used to be a an apprentice, and that's the way I do it. Everybody has different uh, ideas. Well, this is my idea. This is the way I learned, and this is what works for me. Okay, hopefully you like it, and uh, and greetings to everybody. Bye. -bye. Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, this is Eric. Uh, today I'm installing a, the battens for uh, this tile house. It's gonna be a flat tile, but since this one has like a 
6 and 12. When you have above 6 and 12, you know, the seal requ uh, requires you to install uh, wood battens. Uh, always when you install wood battens, you need to leave a space at least 2 inches. You know, 2 inches in between. And never install a, a, a 8 footers. Always they have to be f like, like 4 footers in case if you have any water leak. So you're going to have time, you know, for the water to run away because if you if you put like an 8 footer, then Hello YouTuber, this is Eric. Uh, this is a job in progress for the flat tile. Uh, this morning I was installing the battens. And this... Hello YouTubers, this is Eric again. This is in progress uh, job. I'm almost done. Today we did this, this valley, all this field, this valley. We did this valley. This is a uh, close cut valley. Remember to always fold the edge of the of the uh, valley metals to prevent the water to uh, to run on this side. Okay, don't forget that. I usually do on my own roof, so that way I don't have the problem that I run across when I do my repairs. Tomorrow, this is a small thing. The most difficult thing was this because it has the valleys and it has the pipes. And this was easy. I did it like in one hour. This one I did it like in. By noon I was done with this and this and then in the afternoon I finished this and then I did the bottom part. So tomorrow I'm just gonna do the the top over here. I'm gonna take some pictures. Hopefully you like it. And this is how you do tile, okay? Tile roof. And using battens. Remember to live in a space of uh, minimum of one of one and a half inch or two inches you can go up to three four you know but make sure when you and also I'm using like one nail per tile because this is a, a windy area so I don't want the tiles to blow off because this is a uh, this is a, this is not a standard weight tile this is a lightweight concrete tile so it has to be real secured um, anyway what else I was gonna say I did my rakes over there, I did my rakes on the other side. Uh, you see how I paint my pipes? Everything matches. Always try to try to find the color for the towel that you're installing or the shingle so it looks more professional. Okay? Greetings to everybody. Thanks for watching. Hello guys, this is Eric. Uh, I'm done with the roof. This is the final results. Hopefully you like it. Oh. I'm just gonna walk a little bit on this. Hopefully, I don't break any tiles. See how it is? It's done. The rich is done, everything is done. Greetings to Tony Pond. This is your roof. New tile roof. <laughs> Okay, you're supposed to use at least three inches headlamp. And right here, in some areas, I did three and a half, almost four. This is the way it's supposed to look. Okay, guys, very soon, everybody, subscribe. It's windy today, so.